Hello and welcome along and welcome back to the farm. Uh, we've got a little bit of a respite now. It's uh, it's still early November and we've got a uh, a couple of days before the farmer across the road is ready to uh, get our or ready for us to help him uh, get the corn in. It's got a little bit more work to do, so we are going to go and do some work with our animals around the farm. Uh, we need to clear up after our chickens a little bit. It would have been a bit messy in their eating. Uh, and uh, the cows have been messy as well. We have a lot of manure to clean up today from them. So uh, we've got to go and do that job as well. Uh, they also need a little bit more feed. Uh, the, the chickens are actually all right for their feed at the moment. Um, but yes, the cows are going to need more feed. And uh, we're going to get the front tines on for that uh so yeah it's really just a, a day of uh, of clearing up around the yard sorting things out all our tractors are looking good and everything uh our work is all gonna be in this piece of kit today though so let's jump in start her up and i want to get my forks taken off the front of this first and then we can go and get the bucket on uh, because yeah we have a big mess to clean up in the cow shed they have been uh, yeah they've been busy and uh, and it's really good it means that we are going to have plenty of manure for our for our uh, greenhouses we're we're looking uh, really good in the amount of manure we've got there let's just connect this all up there we go and then uh yeah and any excess we can put in at the side uh, we'll then need to clean out this bucket and give them some manure we haven't got oh i wonder if our mixer has come in at the shop so uh, i will uh, i'll give them a call see if that's come in because that's been a little while we've had that on order now and they've been telling me no it's it's not quite it's not quite arrived yet it's not quite arrived yet so uh, with any luck our feed mixer will have arrived and we can go and pick that up today which would be absolutely fantastic but yeah look at the mess that our cows have made in here that's quite a lot of manure come on there we go that should be a full bucket so yeah looks like we've got a few full buckets of manure to get out of here uh so it'll be a nice little job from that point of view and uh once they're cleared out yeah i'll uh, i'll go give a call actually i might go give a call now while we uh while we t driving past the house and see if i can work out exactly what's happening uh from that point of view oh i didn't look that close anyway let's head uh let's head up and on my way back i think we'll go and get rid of this bucket full first on my way back i'll pop in the house and we'll uh see if that uh that is ready for us to pick up because yeah it would make a lot more sense for us to actually mix the feed for the cow today rather than having to uh rather than having to uh put it in separately okay and in oh that is now a nice full box of manure there that would do those good and uh, our greenhouses will keep going through the winter they'll keep bringing in money for the farm which is absolutely brilliant um we are we are in a good place that contracting that we did up on the uh, the other farm and that's uh, that's paid us so well i can see why every farmer around here uh, wants to be able to to work uh, it is the biggest farm i mean he basically owns pretty much everything north of the river uh, whereas we've got three different farms that exist south of it on uh, on this side but yeah he, he pretty much has everything north of the river it is a massive uh, pig farm uh, that he's running up there and uh yeah as a result uh contracting work for it pays quite well and there's uh, there's normally quite a bit of work uh for those who want to actually uh, do some up there i'm just gonna bring this up here and park it up 
and pop into the house quickly and see if we can uh, sort out this new piece of kit if it has arrived i'm hoping so so the good news is that uh, it is all there i have paid for it and uh, we can go and pick it up whenever we want which is absolutely brilliant i will need to finish this job off first though we want to get all the manure out from our cows uh first and then we can pop up there and sort this feed out um but this means that we can start to put the cows on some mixed ration going into the winter uh they will be uh, fairly happy with that then they got plenty of grass at the moment but at the end of the month they'll start running out and it's it's good to to sort of start transitioning them onto it so that will be great uh, we still have quite a lot of manure to get out of here, though. Thankfully, now that we've filled up our greenhouses, uh, we can take this round here and just dump it into the storage area we have for the manure round here. I wonder actually if I can get that side gate open. That would make this much shorter and make the cows a lot less inclined to try and get out. No, this is probably some of these gates aren't um, aren't great, and this one looks like it's being a little bit squeezed up. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to go around. It's all right; we can keep an eye, and none of them are particularly inclined at the moment to come in and uh, try and escape while I am going back and forth like this. So as long as they stay out of this shed, uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, they're, they're all, you know, nicely out in the field and seem to be uh, doing quite well. Last of the manure. In we come for it. Yeah, there we go. That's got that. Got to start learning to try and uh, turn this round and, and get it out because it's so much faster to drive to do that. Uh, we need to go and give this a quick wash out because uh, we've got some feed to clean up as well. Want to get that back into the feeding trough. Uh, don't want to, to really waste that. So that should be quite good. So bring this out and round. Uh, but I'm going to shut that gate first because if I go up and, and wash this, we are sure to get an escapee cow. Not too bad while I'm just turning around like that. But um, as soon as I'm doing this... We want to sort that. I uh, probably want to put some straw in here for our cows today as well. So bring that in. Two. So, there we go. Yeah, all looking pretty good. Right, I'm going to tip that up. So that we can give it a quick wash out. Just means that we're not mixing manure in with their feed. Which, uh, which makes a lot more sense don't want any sick cows perfect and then back round back in and we'll be able to clear their feed up as well uh, I'm quite looking forward to getting this uh, new mixing trailer should be uh, quite a good uh, addition to the farm it's a uh, it's a mammoth it's not very big um, it's a, a pretty small one uh, and it's cost us about uh, six and a half grand uh, to buy it but it's uh, it is going to be absolutely perfect for what we need All right, let's get that into the trough perfect and uh, yeah that is the cows all nicely cleaned up so we can head out now and go and grab the JCB tractor our fast track and hook that up well, we'll head up to the shop with that uh, and then we'll go and get our feeder. And uh, yeah, we can start mixing some mixed rations for the cows, which is going to be absolutely perfect. Uh, so we'll, we'll just leave this here and I'll go and get the other tractor. Headed back into town and I forgot how nice it is to be in this JCB. It is just so much you can see from in this cab 
and there's next to no obstruction at all and it's just absolutely incredible visibility i love this tractor it is just absolutely wonderful i'm so pleased that we got it um, and there is our feed mixer uh it's a little bit old a little bit beat up um but uh it should do us rather nicely yeah looking fairly good a little bit mucky as well um but matches our fast track really well so let's back this up and yeah this is not a very big one but we don't have a huge number of cows on our dairy farm so we'll hook everything up oh, there we go and then we can get this back to the farm and get it mixing up some feed for our cows i just want to check which way does it okay so we've got a gate on that side and a gate on that side so we can we can feed either side uh, so that that will be absolutely fine um right let's head back down to the farm then and uh yeah get this loaded up with some feed i'll wait for you to cross the road sir right wow it's busy in town today lots of cars lots of people about good to see now the field we're going to be helping with the harvest on is this one to the right here this uh this corn the the maize field uh it's run uh, it's part of a farm run by a, a man named uh kenneth fletcher and uh, he actually owns most of the fields uh, around here that, that aren't part of Brompton Farm. Uh, uh, he's, he's getting on a bit and he's, uh, he's looking to, to sell stuff up, which is, which is why I've got my eye on certain fields around me. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he should be a pretty good uh, gentleman to work for. I think he has a big case combine uh, that, should, uh, th that he does the job with um and uh yeah looks uh looks pretty good from what i've seen uh he's asked me to hold off for a couple of days simply because he's he's just not ready to do it and i think the crop itself i had said earlier that the crop wasn't ready i think the crop itself is ready i think it's just the case that he isn't so uh yeah now we need to turn this off because we're going to put some feed in this now our bales are not massive um should be pretty good for this actually we have six thousand liters uh, of space so it should be one i think it's going to be one hay bale uh one bucket full of silage and uh one thing of straw we we don't need to put straw in for our mixed ration but it, it helps to boost it out a bit and helps everything to go a little bit further uh we yeah we'll we'll hit about five thousand liters with the uh with this and with a uh, uh and with a hay bale so what i might try and do is see if we can slice open one of the straw bales and do it that way because otherwise we're gonna be putting in yeah we're gonna end up overfilling it which i don't want to do so let's uh, bring this in. There we go. Just carefully tip that in. That goes in nicely. Then I need to get... Oh. Let's see if we can't get this off. So we'll drop this off the front. I'll need to go and uh, disconnect all the pipes. So down, disconnect all of those, and disconnect it. There we go. And then I want my bale grab here. Grab one of these. There we are. Yeah, the other way to do it would be to, to put a couple of hay bales in maybe and then top it up with silage uh, to create the mixed ration. Either way really works, um, but it's it's just really getting it correct. I'm going to take this off the middle. I'm not going to take this off the middle. I'll take this off the side. 
we do need to create some more silage actually and um, we do have that issue uh more silage would be a good idea uh we're, we're getting a bit late in the year to do it is the trouble and i don't want to be cutting and uh and ruining the springs cut but it looks like it's going to be a bit difficult right we'll lay this on the top and get that in so yeah it's an interesting one this so i should be able to cut that ah oh, it went everywhere right <laughs> This is why we need to cut the bales and use the bucket, really. Let's see if we can pull this out of here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it really it really just went everywhere. Everywhere but in. That's all right. Let's get... Uh, we'll get a straw bale uh, to the side while we've still got the bale spike on here, and then we can cut that. But it's... Yeah very very annoying that right and lift carefully oh no ah I didn't work quite far enough into the bale there we go that's got it what I'll do is we'll just take this off to the side here because we're not going to use all of this and we can just create a little pile of straw so we'll cut that bale there we go a little pile you, you open up a straw bale and it just goes everywhere right so yeah that is uh that is the thing these bales are not going to go easily into this uh we need to use the bucket uh to fill it really but you'll be amazed at exactly how much of this pile will go into this bucket it's uh it's gonna be a large amount if not, I think it's all of it, actually. Pretty much all of it should fit in this bucket. Like so. Yeah, see? I told you. It's the uh, vast majority of it, if not all of it. That chicken will move out of the way. There we go. All of it. Actually, a really good size bucket for these bales. I'm glad we haven't got rid of that baler. Now that I've found a trailer, I can actually fairly easily get those bales onto. Um, it's, uh, it's very, very useful. Right, that's that. And then we want to top that up with just... A little bit of straw just to pad it out and make sure that we're full. There we go. Yeah, don't need a full bucket. Even though, again, we'd be able to, to fully load this bucket up with this. And there we are. And that's done. Perfect. Uh, oh, cracked it one on the way down. That'll be that'll be fine. Looks okay. So we'll just park this here. And uh, yeah, uh, I think we've got a nice amount. Let's mix it up. And uh, then we can head down here and uh, go fill up the cow feed with it. Which, uh, yeah, should make them very happy. They've already put more manure down. There we are. All right, I hope I've got my door on the right side. Let's give it a try. Nope, that's going up the wrong side. There we go. Into my troughs. And, uh... Yeah, get my cows fed. I think one of the cows, yeah, one of the cows has come for a closer look. We'll back out rather than uh, drive into you. Oh, although backing out might be a bit fun. Let's go around here. This tractor just fits under this uh, this entranceway, which is quite good. I don't want, want to 
Be slow and careful. Don't want to scare this cow. There we go. They seem fairly unfazed by me driving around them, to be honest. But that is uh, has worked quite well. I need to turn off the mixer on it as well. Um, but yeah, that is all good. So I'd say that's been uh, fairly successful today. We've uh, managed to get the cows fed. Our chickens are happy. We've got a new piece of kit and we've got a harvest on the way. Another harvesting contract to do in the near future. All in all, pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to leave this vlog here for today. We're going to be helping with this harvest, as I mentioned, next time. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.